My guest, Janet Henry, is uh, Jay Powell, was watching Mario Draghi yesterday in a, quote, dark room in Washington as well. You write about U.S. resilience. Does the Draghi effect come over and affect, diminish U.S. resilience? Well, it has, the U.S. economy has been resilient, as you, as you say. It, it's had the, helped by the fiscal stimulus. Last year, U.S. growth forecasts at the start of the year were pretty much unchanged <clears throat> at the end of the year. And yet we had these massive downgrades in Europe and in Japan as well. Even in China, it didn't underperform um, significantly so. But I think as we go through this year, it's not just, for, as far as Europe's concerned, it's not just what happens to growth in the U.S. <clears throat> and what happens to growth in China. It's the mix of growth in those economies. And really what we're thinking about in the year ahead is actually that the outlook for the consumer and the household sector is still reasonably <coughs> firm, helped by fiscal stimulus in the US and, of course, right. in Europe. But for a big swing in the world trade cycle, you actually need a big pickup in capital spending um, and an overall um, demand well, for manufactured goods. And actually that's what Europe is really waiting for rather than, you know, for the US being hit by exports to Europe. Yes, of course they'll be hit, but for the US... Exports only make up 12% of GDP. Janet, I was really taken yesterday by Eco Optimus, who said, look, the U.S. will pick up. Look, EU will pick up. Even Mr. Draghi touched upon that in his press conference. State the case for this being one big false alarm and that we'll see some form of recovery come July, August, or November. Well, it went the other way last year, didn't it? It started the year with maximum optimism on Europe and then it ended with two of the big four in or very close to recession. So certainly even our numbers do in point to some improvement in Europe in the course of the year, helped by this fiscal stimulus. But I think it's going to be an ongoing period of volatility. You've got to remember at the end of last year, we actually saw some of the one-off factors in Europe starting to unwind, the, the vehicle emissions impact. You also saw that in Japan. Uh, we got the better PMR and we were buying into this idea that the worst was over in some of these countries and now the world's two big drivers of the world, China, we got much weaker import data for the last couple of months, US GDP, we know we're going to see the government shutdown effect. So <clears throat> I think it's going to be a bit uneven, but I would still expect some stabilisation in European growth as the year progresses. Not of the scale that we saw the slowdown last year, right. um, but some firming <clears throat> relative no. to what we saw in the second half of last year.